14,000 travelers per day between China and America before the COVID pandemic. 17 minutes, the average interval between passenger flights between the two countries. 233, the number of sister city pairs between China and America. And 400,000, the number of primary and secondary school students learning Chinese in the U.S. You know, one thing that I felt for much of my time in China was a curiosity by Chinese people to understand and learn about the West. Now, if we fast forward and we look now, I would say there's much greater awareness about China amongst Americans. James Heimowitz is the president at the China Institute, an institution with a history spanning nearly a century. Four decades ago, he was awarded a scholarship to study in China. Cultures are very different. I think the value systems in many ways differ, but underneath it, we do all enjoy a common humanity that binds us. James believes that, despite varying values, a shared and fundamental humanity binds us harmoniously. Whether it's young kids coming in here and seeing the history of China through art, whether seeing it through, you know, even everything as simple as rolling Chinese dumplings or celebrating at a holiday time, then these anxieties start to melt away as people, as their ignorance goes away and it's replaced by a bit more of understanding. <laughs> Monolingualism is the illiteracy of the 21st century. Similar to James, Stevenson shares the conviction that language holds the key to wisdom. It is through mastering a language that one gains access to a deeper understanding of a culture. During his tenure as a senator in Utah, Stevenson dedicated himself to advancing immersive bilingual education across the state. I was visiting a group of a thousand college students, a third of them U.S., a third Chinese, and a third Russian. And I noticed that very few U.S. students could speak Chinese, but almost all Chinese students were fluent in English. I was reading Thomas Friedman's book, The World is Flat, at the same time and realized that if America is going to engage effectively in Asia and the Middle East, we simply have to learn their culture and their language. In 2008, Utah introduced its Immersion Bilingual Program. The initiative involves schools instructing students in foreign languages for half the time, with the remaining half conducted in English. Advanced level. As the head of the Immersion Bilingual Program of Chinese and English, Stacy Leon has worked here for more than a decade. So one of the important things about immersion is having the context for the language, not just learning the vocabulary. So these are pictures where the teacher has created a context for the words that they're using. The more we know about each other's language and culture, the more likely we are to solve the geopolitical problems that face the world. Mm -hmm. The more ignorant we are, the more isolated we are, the greater the danger is. Both China and America are actively endeavoring to foster mutual understanding. In 2002, the inaugural Chinese Bridge was held. Participants from all over the world showcased their linguistic skills by eloquently speaking in Chinese. The allure of China and the passion for learning its language have significantly transformed numerous individuals' lives. Among these individuals is Li Dang. In 2008, when Donald still went by the name Li Mubai, he participated in the Chinese Bridge competition. He called himself Li Mubai because he worshipped the hero in the movie, 
Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. With his excellent Chinese skills and a humorous personality, Li Dong not only secured a place among the top three in the competition, but also got a position as a host on Hunan TV International. After he returned to America, he changed his name from Li Mubai to Li Dang. In his own words, the new name symbolized a fresh beginning in his life's journey. His name changed, but his passion for Chinese language and culture remained unwavering. In 2014, he joined the Columbus School of Chinese, where he taught Chinese to diverse age groups and actively participated in cultural exchange programs. Li Dang's perspective on language is deeply intertwined with his advisor, Professor Galal Walker. In 2003, Dr. Galal Walker became the recipient of the prestigious Chinese Language and Culture Friendship Award, an honor bestowed upon individuals who have made exceptional contributions to Chinese language teaching, research, and cultural exchanges. Professor Walker's dedication to teaching and researching Chinese language spans nearly half a century, during which he has played a pivotal role in witnessing and contributing to the development of Chinese language education in America. We developed programs and we sent our students to China and they, to do internships. The main indicator of success is the people who were, who could interact with people uh, in, uh, within the, the bounds of Chinese culture. I mean, they're not behaving like a Chinese, but understanding their certain things. After years of teaching and researching the practices of successful language learners, Professor Walker developed a groundbreaking pedagogical approach called the Performed Culture Approach, which has significantly enhanced the teaching of Chinese as a second language. By immersing students in Chinese cultural environments, this approach moves away from monotonous memorization of characters and pinyin, providing a more effective and engaging way for learners to master Chinese through a general process of focusing on listening, speaking, reading, and writing in that sequence. He refers to this approach as remembering the future, wherein students are trained to anticipate and be ready for potential future situations. By engaging with these scenarios in the present, they can develop the skills and knowledge needed to effectively handle similar situations in the future. Now, this is Pat uh, Pager. He's a very interesting person. Pat is a student of Professor Walker's. He won first place in the Chinese bridge competition for college students in 2004. What he recalled years later was the concept of remembering the future. Yongnihao, after living in China for a couple years, Pat not only improved his Chinese language skills beyond what language instruction offered, but also gained a deeper understanding of Chinese culture and society. You 
。如果倒完了没有茶，没关系，你想个办法，再茶壶再加水，再给你自己倒茶。我觉得在美国的时候，小时候素质教育没有包括这一点，就是没有这种 expectation 这个期望，嗯。但是学会这一点的人，我发现。不管在中国，在美国，别人都喜欢这样的行为。红红的辣椒，洋溢着激情，充满着生命的活力。<笑>就像一首歌写的：“人世间有百媚千红，我独爱你那一种。”我太太他们，江西人，怕不辣嘛，就是不辣不欢。开始的时候，他点他的，我点我的，他吃他的，我吃我的。然后后来我就逐渐的学会了吃他的，他没有学会吃我的。<笑> Pat and his wife got to know each other while working at the translation department of an internet company in Shenzhen. Whenever Pat spoke in English, his wife would interpret for him, and their bond grew over time. They also found that their interests aligned perfectly, which brought them even closer together. Chinese played a significant role not only as the matchmaker for Pat and his wife. But also as the driving force behind their entrepreneurial journey. In 2001, Pat enrolled in the Ohio State University for his master's and doctoral programs, where he also served as a teaching assistant for Chinese courses. He actively engaged in China-U.S. university exchange programs during this time. In 2013, Pat established his own company and collaborated with Ohio State University. To organize study tours and training programs with Chinese universities, through their business, they have become a bridge connecting the two countries and promoting mutual understanding and cooperation. There is no culture without language, and no language without culture. For Americans learning Chinese, the language serves as a window to learn the culture. 大家好，我叫李小雨，我来自美国俄勒冈州波特兰市。She blends American jazz with the Chinese guzheng, creating a distinctive genre that integrates both Chinese and Western musical styles. Chinese makes my life so rich. I think that my students in the future will be like me. So I think that I like the culture of China and the Chinese culture. 那我给我的学生分享吧，让他们也跟我一样爱上中国文化吧。Likewise, located 4,000 kilometers away, Professor Han Mei from Middle Tennessee State University is diligently striving to foster traditional Chinese music and instruments. Over the past few years, Professor Han Mei has collected nearly 100 Chinese musical instruments. These instruments are proudly showcased in the center of Chinese music and culture at the college. This is a portion replica of Zheng Houyi chime bell. Zheng Houyi, the original one. Zheng is、uh, was a small kingdom. Yi is a person's name. Hou is in his、uh, title, which is a marquee. Every single time I see students who have sparks. In their eyes when they listen to live music. There's a well-beaten path on this old mountainside. Why wonder when I was. And every time somebody gave me feedback saying, "Well, I learned so much today about Chinese culture. All these things, you know, feed me, nurture me, and make me believe more about what I do." I'm American. 美国宾州的，你迁住在苏州的。音乐是我的生活的一一个大部分。我觉得跟中文和音乐在一起是最和谐的。Anastasia Coes, an enthusiastic singer, is active on various social platforms and chose the stage name Caterpillar. Her decision was not driven by any reason; she simply finds it cute and endearing. In 2020, she opened her account on TikTok. And in 2022, she expanded her presence to Douyin, sharing her music videos, Suzhou dialect, and her life in Suzhou and Hong Kong.
，因为在美国眼里。啊、uh, ，我们都觉得哦，我知道中国是什么样的。我们在电影里看到了中国的那个现场。五四运动啊，古代释然啊，兵马俑、儒家、法家、墨家，在世界的东边，有个文明古国，它叫中国。Like it blows my mind. 如果一个人想研究一个国家的历史，他们应该学习那个国家的语言。James Dennison is a graduate student at Ohio State University. His chosen field of study falls within a less common area, focusing on the examination of Chinese scholars' perspectives on traditional Chinese culture during the May Fourth Movement period. 我研究我的语言写题目的时候，我我发现了，呃，以前很多知识分子他们不喜欢汉字，他们认为这些字太难了，阻碍他们的教育，因此他们鼓励实行简体字。The most influential scholar. Who started teaching modern Chinese in the United States was Professor Yuan Ren Zhao, Zhao Yuan Ren. He started teaching modern Chinese at Harvard in 1922, and uh, invented uh, a teaching method. Later on, we call that Zhijiefa. That model was established by Professor Zhao. And、uh, has been used up to this moment. Chinese originates from a distinct language system, contributing to its inherent complexity in learning. Many multilingual individuals consider Chinese to be one of the most challenging languages to acquire. The pronunciations, like the ah 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 ah, those are the hard、uh, ones. 对我来说，写字是最困难的。Learning the differences between dialects and and accents. There's a problem, you know, when you're learning two languages. So you do the wrong one, and you don't understand, and you're confused.、Um, I think that for studying Chinese, it's kai kou, you know, and 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 don't be intimidated by accents. Sichuan and Guangdong people, 大家是不是一码事？现在是应该练习这个你的耳朵的这个这个能力吧。Vera Schwartz, a distinguished historian and sinologist. Holds a professorship in the United States. A language prodigy, Vera Schwartz possesses fluency in English, Chinese, French, German, Russian, Japanese, Hebrew, Romanian, Hungarian, and many other languages. Yet she distinctly holds Chinese in high regard and considers it her favored language. Look at language learning as opening windows of the mind. Each language. I mean, I've been fortunate to have many languages. I think I get mixed up sometimes among them. Uh, but each word, even, opens something, and I love to find things when they don't translate. So, for example, "momin chi miao," you can't translate that. Now, this is what a wire. You know, you can't translate these. So, this is what a Chinese. You know, they are the delicious part of language. Mu fa to find it, man. So, kind of jumping like in a swimming pool. So you don't know how to swim, so you'll sink a little bit, but you come up for air. So, I think that's the fun of. In every language, I look for that boundary where you can't quite translate, and I love that. I, I like to dance、um, on that edge of, of words. Language builds a bridge for communication, even in moments of silence, leaving behind a lasting resonance. At the Minnesota State Academy for the Deaf, a special community of teachers and students is engaged in the process of learning Chinese and understanding China through their own unique way. Zhou Xiaorong, the teacher of Chinese sign language, is a visiting scholar from China. She herself has hearing impairment and brings with her a background of teaching CSL in China. During her CSL classes, Ms. Zhou frequently interacts with her students and encourages them to participate on stage for practice. Currently, she's dedicated to both teaching and researching strategies to encourage more hearing individuals to learn sign language. Her aim is to diminish communication barriers and create increased job opportunities for people with hearing impairment. 
for communication with people and people to people exchange. Many, many years it's happened. Hearing people look down or really deaf people, you know, it's, they're not equal to hearing people. And so we really want, and what can we do? It's important, yeah, to learn about China for deaf people too. Yeah, that's really true. That's really, really true. Currently, CSL teaching programs have been launched in three schools located in Minnesota, Iowa, and Delaware. I am driving to school on my second to last day of my uh, adventure at Ingwa. Susan has over 30 years of expertise in managing international schools. She has engaged in exchange visits to schools in China twice and has extensively traveled around to gain a first-hand experience of life in China. We went to uh, Guilin and Yangshu, mm -hmm. and we took these little two-person uh, rafts and all lined up. Right after this, we all tipped and fell in the water. <laughs> but it was very, very fun. The box is a present for Susan's 70th birthday, containing cards from her students, as well as photos inside and outside of the box. This is when we got the National Blue Ribbon Award in 2015. That's in Washington, D.C. National Blue Ribbon Schools receive special recognition from the U.S. Department of Education. Out of the 2,225 schools in Minnesota, only eight were nominated for this distinction. Ultimately, Yinghua Academy emerged as a standout and won the prestigious award. Upon her retirement, Susan intends to embark on a journey around the world with her husband. While her role may shift, her heart remains unwavering. She expressed her commitment to continue contributing her utmost to initiatives that promote positive China-U.S. relations. This young girl, who charmingly recites Chinese, goes by the adorable Chinese name Hao Tian Tian. She has been learning Chinese for three years. Someday maybe you could go do something that involves speaking Chinese and if you don't know Chinese you'll be like, um, what are you saying? I don't understand you. But if you do learn Chinese, it'll be good because you could get to talk and um, someday maybe you could interpret someone. Well, I to Sam Bowen was born in America, and he accompanied his parents to China when he was four years old. He resided there until the age of 16, with extensive experiences in cross-cultural communication and a profound understanding of cultural differences between America and China. Sam possesses insights that exceed those of most individuals. Like, I have to speak much louder to get my voice heard because people are always trying to make themselves heard and there isn't as much um, opportunity to make sure everyone is getting their say in. Like, in China, there's a lot of thinking of the community and making sure that everyone is represented, everyone can voice their opinions. Uh, in America, it's, it, it really is a, you do what is best for you and you hope that it turns out okay. Profound disparities in language and culture have rendered China-US relations particularly delicate on the global stage. However, an encouraging trend has emerged as an increasing number of individuals have undertaken the task of spreading Chinese culture. It is hoped that by knowing each other better, the people in China and the US will enjoy amicable relations forever.